They have been uh, really uh, unlucky this quarter because of uh, this uh, Austin, Texas plant and also the Malacca and Malaysia uh, problems. Um, the, 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 the industry was already pretty tight, so they really didn't need that. Uh, I guess uh, these two factors are a temporary, I would say. Um, they, during the conference call management, uh, gave a number for the impact of the Malaysian uh, problem of uh, high double-digit uh, revenue number for the, for the last quarter. So this is what we can expect, but uh, after that, uh, the, this impact should be, uh, should be gone and uh, we'll be looking at probably a more dynamic uh, 2022 years with, uh, with new uh, capacities coming online. So, we've been talking about supply bottlenecks in the chipmaker space for the better part of all of this year now. It's been at least six months that we've been talking about or flagging it in various industries. What's interesting, though, is that the semiconductor space as a whole has managed to do quite well. Is it a case of, even though production being hit, the manufacturers have been able to pass on higher prices to their customers, which is the reason uh, why the semiconductor stocks have been holding up so well? I mean, w what is going on there? Because the situation on the ground seems to be one of constant delays and production disruption, whereas the reaction in the stock market price tells you a different story. Yes, indeed. Well, the, 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 the situation is, uh, is quite extraordinary um, and demand is, is really strong. Uh, so true, you have uh, manufacturing disruptions, you have uh, shortages everywhere, uh, but uh, they happen to pass price increases to their customers and, and demand is extraordinarily high. Um, uh, Infineon has just said that with the order book that they have, they, can, uh, they, they have basically two years of revenue. So honestly, this is something uh, we haven't seen um, uh, before. Uh, and uh, this is probably what the, the, the share price of the sector are, are reflecting. And indeed, Infineon is, is lagging behind uh, this year in terms of, uh, of performance, despite the, uh, the very strong outlook. Um, this uh, this should change. I mean, we we, we keep our uh, positive view on the on the stock and on the sector. Have we passed the worst of the chip shortage yet, or are uh, further bottlenecks anticipated to come? Um, probably the second half of this year is the is the worst part of the of the shortage uh, for seasonality reason because basically the, the the capacity that has been ordered to uh, equipment manufacturers have not been installed yet so you don't have the the positive impact of this uh, capacity ramp and at the same time you've got the the high seasonality for smartphone smartphone manufacturers with the next iPhone coming very soon. Uh, uh, which uh, consumes a lot of capacity in the in, in the space, and you don't have additional capacity. So the worst of the bottleneck is is right now, uh, and it's going to get better uh, in 2022, I guess.